Ah, welcome back to the channel. As you may know, I've been playing Call of Duty Mobile Zombies on the Chinese version. I'm getting these rewards in what appears to be a battle pass that's free for the zombie section of it. Unlocking things like this here, the HG40 Lava, and some of these crates, free soldiers and that. Some of these crates have things like chances at uh, the Lava Axe. We got this as well I got in the global version. Um, this RPD lava as well. I might chuck that on in a second. I'm going to just look at some of the powers and see what they do. Let me just pull up the translation pen for a second so I can read what this stuff does. Okay. Active camouflage. I assume this is going to work the same as like zombie blood, if you remember that from Operation Dig Site and that. Or um, that other ability from um, World War Two zombies, where you kind of just they don't pay attention to you for a short duration, and you have increased movement speed, etc., etc. Uh, let's have a look at the sentry gun. Obviously, sentry gun, right? Pretty self-explanatory. This thing's just going to sit there and shoot them. But what's the passive ability? Increase fire rate and damage for the whole team with sniper rifles and LMGs while it's active. Alright. This thing is the tripwire from uh, Battle Royale, but here it says increased damage is increased by 25% for light machine guns and sniper rifles while it's active. That's interesting. The medic. Increased health for surrounding teammates. Okay. I figured that's what it would be anyway. Okay, next thing I wanted to look at was some of the weapon setups you can have. Because I noticed there's like a buy station and uh, the old buy station used to just upgrade your guns there. But it appears you can make custom guns. So we're going to chuck that RPD on. Uh, select that blueprint that we got from the free battle pass with zombies. Maybe give it a sight, make it a bit easier to use. Uh, damage range, I don't think that's going to matter too much, to be honest. Okay, just load it into a game. I'm going to try to rack up enough points to go grab it. And that comment does start every single time you play this, by the way. Okay, so what we also notice we have the sentry gun equipped. I'm gonna check that out, see what it does. I mean, I think it's kind of obvious what it does, but see if it's helpful or not. Um, also, there is multiple ways you can buy ammo for guns once you've purchased a gun. Even guns you get from the box, which is kind of interesting. Uh, we'll go through that in a second. Wait, what am I doing? I should just use my knife. It's like round one. Uh, that should be enough to buy the downstairs door. Let me just clear some room. Okay, so we're at the buy station now. Let's check it out. There is the RPD. It has that skin on it. It also has the attachments, but I need 3,000 points to get it. Man, you really can't pause this even if you hit settings. I kind of thought because it was on my own it should let me pause it, but I guess not. Right, I'm gonna just grab some stuff. You know, no, this is just for the elevator and that, you know, for later on when I need juggernaut and stuff. Also, I figured out where the pack of punch parts are. Uh, through that gate behind me, and then inside of that building, next to the window should be the first part, and then through the room that has the buy station, you know, open up that door, go across the water, past the AK, and open that door up, and it should be on the corner, in one of the rooms over there, and you put them two parts in the pack of punch machine, and we'll let you use it.
Okay, I'm just gonna go repair this elevator real quick. And then um, end the round and I should have enough to buy the oh, I have also noticed when you get uh, guns out of the box in this by the way, um, they have attachments most of the time, like they have like a, a laser sight or extended mag, something like that. It's pretty cool, it's different. Also I'm pretty sure uh, this method here is what I'm using to get the RPD you can use to get any gun from the game, so the guns are no longer restricted in zombies like they used to be, there was like a set amount of them, like AK-17, etc, etc. Nice. Let's get all the attachments on. Oh look, we got the sentry gun too. Might as well test this out. Oh, that's sick. Since you're going to do more. I mean, like, yeah, it's putting in work. Wow, this RPD feels so much better now that it's fully customized. Wow. Before I get to the buying and the ammo part, I just want to show you, you can actually still get the tree boss in the raid. So the missing step was interacting with the book on the desk after you take out the coin to get the max ammo, and then you can go interact with the kiosk and change the boss. So this still works. Okay now, uh, let's talk about the ammo in part of this. There's a few ways you can get the ammo in this. Um, one way obviously can be the zombie hordes dropping max ammo. The other way is uh, you can trigger two max ammo throughout this map, I'm pretty sure, shooting the element 115 on the opposite run over there. We'll uh, have some skulls come after you, you shoot all of them, they'll drop a max ammo. Um, but as you'll see, when I'm out of ammo, I'm gonna run up and you can actually just purchase it from these boxes. I'm pretty sure there's. There should be one in every zone, but I don't know where the one is in this zone that they're currently in. Alright, I'm to Alright, let's make a break for the ammo. Wow. Okay, so there should be one when you come out right there. And it kind of looks like a military box. And Cost 500, and as you can see, I'm at pack a punch 8 on this gun, and it's still only cost 500. So you can just keep going. It also works with the, uh, the ray gun ammo, too, so that's pretty sick. You just buy ray gun ammo. Other way, you can pack a punch, and each time you pack a punch, you will get ammo back. Now, that's pretty cool, because I mean, like, having a ray gun throughout the entire map, and it's just gonna cost 500 every single time to get the ammo back from the crates I just ran past. So simple. Also, I added the uh, 50 G's here, jewel. I got these out of the box. You can pack a punch these too, these are sick a bit. I think this might be more of a novelty weapon, but this, they're fun, they do a lot of damage, but they run out of ammo extremely quick. Man, you, just, you can't beat the red gun. So I have no idea if this is going to be getting global or not on normal Call of Duty Mobile, or if this is only on the Chinese version. I'm going to download the Korean one and the other Chinese version as well and see if they're on both of them. Because obviously not everyone's going to have QQ and WeChat to be able to sign in. Alright, well that's all we have time for. Thanks for watching, subscribe if you haven't already, and all that good stuff, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Hold up, because while editing this, I found this on another app store for the global version.
Now in our short clip you see zombies and here it says all new zombies mode and this is for the global version. So it's coming soon.